here's a powerful tool. This happens to be the clip mask tool for 2D. If I select this, I can come up here to my tool settings box, which is selected right here or docked along the side, and select one of these ways to identify my mask. Keeping in mind that a clip mask is going to be a boundary you're going to define, and anything inside of the closed area will automatically be turned off. So if I want to be able to trace an area that requires more points, I'm going to click on this. Now I'm going to make sure that I can turn on the clip at any given time. So here I'm going to just leave it on and notice how I'm just going to be very careful. I don't have to be too careful, but let's say that I want to be able to control how much of this drawing is going to be displayed. So I'm going to say I want to turn off or I want to hide this area. And once I close it, can you see how it automatically hid this area? Now keep in mind I can always select this tool right in here and I can tell uh, MicroStation here that I can toggle on or off the clip volume. Anytime I want to turn it on or turn it off, can you see how it automatically turned that area on? So I can come back and I can say, let's turn on the uh, clip volume area. So that way then it's going to uh, basically clip this out. Now what happens if you're going to create a brand new one? Notice what happens here. I'm going to select this, come back here, I'm going to say turn off the display clipped element. And I'm just going to say, I want to snap between these two points. I want to be able to say, hey, let's go right in here. And now I'm going to come all the way to another intersection, come up here to this point, And now using my tool settings box, I'm going to say close. Can you see how it gives me an odd shape here? Now these are automatically going to be turned off. Can you see how the boundary is turned off? So we can always toggle things on or off. The beauty of this is if I come up here to file and I go to print, Take a look at what happens to these areas that are turned off. The print dialog box will open and take a look at the preview window. That's the key thing. If it appears inside the preview window as a blank area, you know it's going to appear that way on paper. Anytime you want, you can always toggle that off if you want to print everything by simply coming up here and tell MicroStation that I want to turn off the clip volume. Notice how it will automatically enable the entire drawing, or you can toggle it back on. Now, for those of you that want to turn this off permanently, you no longer need it to hide an area, all you have to do is come back to the tool, just click it, go back to your tool settings box, and I'm going to click this. This is clears the clip mask, and automatically by selecting this, notice it's going to say select a view, I'm just going to press my left mouse button inside my window, and it automatically heals everything. It turns off those boundaries, and I'm back to normal.